Okay, the light's a bit bad, sorry about that. Um, anybody who watches my videos knows I don't do two camera, and this is the first time I've done this. I'll get immediately to the van, because that's why you're watching the video, but I'll explain later why I'm doing it like this. I don't normally. Anyway, I'm sitting inside the snail van. Here is the, a tour of the immediate bit inside. So, I've got a stove, I've got a sink, which isn't in a very good nick, uh, but I've got a washing basin. Um, there's no running water in this one. Uh, behind here, so this holds the table, which then sits up here, connects to these. So on the table I've got, that's all my pots and pans. I don't want to open it because it's a pain. Anyway, absolutely tons of pots and pans in there. A food bag, that's what I brought from England, and then lots of basic cutlery. Basically everything is provided um, by snail, which is really good. Uh, Alright, I need two hands to put this back up, so I'm going to pause there. Uh, I thought I'd show a bit more detail of what's in the uh, boxes. There's a bottle of water. Uh, it's not attached uh, to the sink, which you might find in a lot of um, these Iceland camper vans. Um, but all of this is provided, included in the price. So, enough gas for my two weeks, uh, well, 12 days away. Kettle, pans, colander, cutting board, even a coffee mug. And then in the cutlery, all kind of camping gear. Um, but I'm not really going to go for the wine, but wine opener, potato peeler, tin opener, God, knives, forks, knives, plates, cups, everything in there. And I do have a small fridge, which I haven't put much in yet because I bought some beer from the airport, but that's it. Um, let me get out of the van and then you can see a bit more of what the van looks like. So that's the table again which sits across there. Excuse my stuff. Now they do provide lots of other stuff, so there's a fire extinguisher. Uh, you get all the hazard stuff you need if you have a breakdown. This is the bed. So, I'm not going to do it now, but this whole frame, see it lifts there, that whole thing comes forward to there. To the outside. back and then uh, this stays the same but this thing this bit drops down to make a bed across the back uh, this is how all of the bedding is provided so duvet bedding uh, there's blackout screens uh, there's an awful lot of uh, blackouts permanent you set up but then you have curtains and stuff and then blackout screens for the front as well got tons of space underneath provide you with which you can't quite see there that's an electrical cable which plugs in in the camps Oops. Oh, I can get it off. so the camps are plug in huh? let me step back this is a snail six uh, which means two people I just realised it's windy, so you might not be able to hear me very clearly. Um, so it's for two people, but... It's luxurious for one. From a driving point of view, I've only driven it 300 metres. And this is my only negative comment. Because of the design with that unit, this driving chair won't go back any further. So that's as far as it goes, which is very cramped for someone like me who's six foot tall. Uh, which is a bit annoying. Um, this van only comes with one socket at the front. But what they've done is they've added over there extra sockets. So there's a second battery, which that red thing is attached to. So if you want to charge extra things, you can do it while you're moving, not while you're still. 
recording. Good morning, hi to hi campers. Um, okay, the first night in the camper van, uh, admittedly I'd only had like three hours sleep the day leaving Heathrow, so um, I slept really well, surprisingly. It's colder in here than I was expecting, um, first day, but uh, I survived. In terms of facilities, so I've I've uh, flattened out the uh, the three bit bed. It's not too bad in the end. This is a very very questionable uh, cover. I was provided with this uh, mummy type sleeping bag. Now I don't normally use these because I don't like my having my feet restricted like that. But it was very warm. Uh, now the windows. Blank out, they've got uh, these sucker things that go onto the front windows. And I've got a side curtain like that, and then I've got the rear curtain. Let's just have a look at the view. That's 5 a.m. It's uh, pretty bleak looking. I've only stopped here. Oh, this wasn't my plan, stop because somewhere there it is. Scorgafoss. I think it is, which is a really impressive waterfall. Uh, in terms of feelings of the van so far, um, me being a, what's a grumpy old git, uh, didn't like the driving position, that was a pain. Uh, I kept forgetting. Don't ask me why. I've kept forgetting to come out of neutral, so kept stalling it. Um, the brakes don't seem brilliant, but that might be just me. Uh, overall, I can't really complain about snail. Um, it was warm enough. And the only thing, actually, no, that's like I lied. The only thing I have issues with is the fridge, which is that thing. I was told that I couldn't have it on like now when I'm at rest. Um, when I put it on driving, it just didn't seem to do the job. So I'm a bit wary now. The irony now is because it's so cold overnight, I could have just put my stuff outside of it and it would have been colder in here than it was in the insulated fridge. That's lesson learned, day one. Uh, and now I need to go and take some photos. I can hear other people moving, so I want to get down to the waterfall before everybody else. So I will see you again uh, later.